Okay, today is December the 13th, 2015. We're watching the uh, Northeast Pacific Infrared Loop. We can see that there's been some changes in the uh, weather overnight. This area of high pressure that was dominating the area last night has suddenly broken down up in the uh, area right up here. And we have uh, part of this storm front starting to move down in, in that uh, area right here. And uh, we also have this uh, storm front right here, which is uh, now moving down into the uh, California area, Southern California. And we have a forecast for rain. That didn't look uh, like it would materialize yesterday, but today it's looking like we may get just a small amount of rain. If you look at the, uh, the water vapor loop, we can see that uh, this area right here, this uh, front is starting to move south. And that was not apparent last night because of all the high pressure that was uh, building in. So uh, we still have this uh, stationary uh, upper level low pressure right here, which is uh, being uh, surrounded. And we can see the uh, storm front from this uh, 928 millibar system moving around and down into this void that is uh, collapsed from uh, last night. We have a area here where all of this uh, moisture is now moving into. We have a harp transmitter right here. And that's indicated on the uh, pressure analysis map right here. So they've got a they've got heat right behind this cold front, which is uh, supposed to bring rain into uh, our area. We'll keep an eye on that. Let's go look at the, uh, the infrared loop. We can see that that entire front uh, it it just should extend around, but it does not because they've got heat. They've got so much heat here that is evaporating all of this moisture. So that is missing right here, and this would otherwise uh, swing down. And bring a lot of rain to the uh, southern part of the state. All right, so we'll keep an eye on this. Uh, let's go take a look at the uh, western U.S. Uh, water vapor loop, and we can see that uh, area right here is being pinched off from this uh, harp transmitter right here, which is focusing right on the uh, core of this uh, little uh, trough of low pressure moving through the area. Okay, let's take a look at this. In the uh, also, we have this storm that moved through uh, California a couple of days ago. That's uh, starting to rebuild, and that's going to move off to the northeast. And we have this uh, jet stream. We can see the uh, fast-moving uh, jet stream flow right through here. Let's go take a look at the jet stream right now. We can see what's happening. Uh, there is a uh, moves across and then dives down, and then it does a U-turn back up over portion of California and out over uh, Oregon, and that's what we're seeing. And then there's an interruption right here uh, through uh, southern and central California. There's an interruption in the jet stream, and that's causing trouble. So uh, let's go back and look at the uh, this uh, water vapor loop again. So we've got a missing piece here, and that is because of this. Uh, we've got a transmitter here, and there's one over here. So the one down here is cutting off uh, the moisture field that should be this thing right here, this frontal system. Let's look at the, uh, this should have a nice long tail on it, a cold front, and th that would bring a lot of rain to the uh, southern part of the state. But that's being cut off by this uh, high pressure right here, that harp transmitter. If we go back and look at that again, this is indicated as a high on the, uh, on the uh, surface analysis map, which is right here. Take a look at that. We have uh, this cold front. We've got this low pressure storm up off of uh, Canada, or right over Canada. Big front. And this is what's going to uh, move into California. You can see these little troughs of low pressure right here, these little dips. And then right behind this uh, cold front, we have a high. Okay. <laughs> high pressure right here. All right. That's kind of unusual, but that's what they're doing, and that's cutting off the moisture field right here, which would normally go into the uh, southern part of the state. So let's go back again and look at what they're doing. And uh, that's clear to see. Uh, this is uh, pinching off this uh, moisture uh, field from the, the tail of this uh, low pressure system that should be delivering rain into uh, California. And this is also associated with this. Uh, storm system right up here. They've got that transmitter right here, which is really uh, upsetting the uh, apple cart. So we're not going to get a lot of rain. We should be getting many, many inches of rain. We've got uh, 15 and 20 foot uh, 
swells moving into uh, Southern California, but there's uh, very little rain, so people need to uh, start connecting the dots on, on all of this and uh, figuring out that we've got major weather manipulation going on daily. And here's the uh, infrared map once again. You can see that that tail is missing. It's been completely cut off, not only from this flow, but also from this uh, storm up here. So, so that's basically the update. Uh, we will uh, go ahead and uh, do another update uh, later today if anything develops. All right, that's it.